to our channel, Mac Masters UAE. Hello everyone, Mac Masters UAE in the channel. Welcome to the next class. We will do the introductions and exercise 2.1 and 2.2. So today let us start the expected question from the chapter polynomials. If you watched the previous videos, please go and watch the other videos of polynomials and come back. So let us start the videos with the expected questions. Our first question is, question number 1. If a and b are the zeros of the polynomial, f of t is equal to t square minus p of t plus 1 minus c, show that a plus 1 into b plus 1 is equal to 1 minus c. If it is zeros of the polynomial, a and b are zeros of the polynomial. Given a and b are zeros, are zeros of f of t. f of t is our polynomial. So let us rearrange this f of t first. That is what is f of t? f of t is equal to t square minus p of t plus 1 minus c equal to 0. This is our standard quadratic polynomial in the formula. What is the standard quadratic polynomial? ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0. This is the standard quadratic polynomial. This polynomial is the formula. So let us open the bracket of the second term. This term is the bracket that we open. t is the variable that we have to open. So t square minus pt minus p into plus 1 is minus p minus c equal to 0. So our polynomial is t square minus pt minus p plus c equal to 0. After this, let us find out the product and the sum of the zeros of the polynomial. And the relation, sum of the zeros of the polynomial is equal to minus b by a. Here minus b is, here b is minus p. Minus of minus p is equal to plus p. This is equation number 1. Then what is the product of the zeros of the polynomial? A into B. A into B is equal to C by A. What is our C? C in the bar another. Minus of P plus C. R. This is equal to minus P minus C. This is our equation number 2. This is the equation we have to do. We will substitute this LHS. So our LHS is a plus 1 into b plus 1. Now open the bracket. I mean open here. Distribute the term a to both the term b and 1. a into b is equal to ab plus a into 1 is a. Next 1 into b is equal to b plus 1. So we know what is ab. From equation 2 ab is equal to minus p minus c. a plus b from equation 1 it is p plus 1. So here minus p and plus p will cancel. We will get it as minus c plus 1 or 1 minus c. This is what our RHS is equal to RHS. So we have proved that a plus 1 into b plus 1 is equal to 1 minus c. Next, second question. If alpha and beta are the zeros of the polynomial, f of x is equal to 3x square minus 4x plus 1, find a quadratic polynomial whose zeros are alpha square by beta and beta square by alpha. But now we have to the polynomial f of x is equal to 3x square minus 4x plus 1 are number polynomial. So from this polynomial, let us find out what is the sum of the zeros. Sum of the zeros of the polynomial is equal to minus b by a. Minus b by a. But b in the value is minus 4. So minus of minus 4. Minus of minus 4 by 3. That is equal to plus 4 by 3. It is the sum of the zeros of the polynomial. Next, product of the zeros of the polynomial. Alpha into beta is equal to 
relation प्रकारम equal to c by a आन here c is equal to 1 1 by 3 आन alpha into beta इद आन नमक्त तन्द इकेंद polynomial next we have to find out a new polynomial new quadratic polynomial zeros are alpha square by beta and beta square by alpha इद आन पुधिय polynomial इंद zeros of the polynomial so let us find out the sum and product of this zeros of the polynomial sum and then we run so here sum of the new zeros of the polynomial is equal to alpha square by beta plus beta square by alpha it is just add here that is equal to beta lcm where beta into alpha and lcm where beta into alpha then cross multiply we will get it as alpha cube plus beta cube. It is the number of the sum of the zeros of the polynomial. So, we the number of the number of alpha cube plus beta cube. This is the number of the formula to rearrange. This is the formula to rearrange. Alpha cube plus beta cube. As per identity, we have the number of cube. Cube is alpha plus beta the whole cube. What is alpha plus beta the whole cube? Alpha cube plus beta cube plus 3 alpha beta into alpha plus beta. This is our identity. A plus B the whole cube is equal to A cube plus B cube plus 3 AB into A plus B is our identity. So, let us rearrange this identity. Alpha plus beta cube is one side leg which is the baki terms are now going to the side leg. Then it will become alpha plus beta cube is equal to what is alpha plus beta cube? It is equal to alpha plus beta, the whole cube. This term will come as negative. Equal to the side line over minus 3 alpha beta into alpha plus beta. Just substitute this into this equation. Alpha plus beta, the whole cube, minus 3 alpha beta into alpha plus beta. By alpha beta. It is the sum of the zeros. Here we know what is alpha plus beta. From equation 1, alpha plus beta is 4 by 3. So, 4 by 3 the whole cube minus 3 alpha beta. 3 into 1 by 3 into 4 by 3 divided by alpha into beta is 1 by 3. Let's write 1 by 3. What is 4 by 3 the whole cube? 4 cube is equal to 64. 3 cube is equal to 3 into 3 9. 9 into 3 27. Minus this 3 and this 3 will cancel. We will get it as 4 by 3 and whole by 1 by 3. Take the LCM. Here LCM is 27. This 1 by 3 will go up. So here we will get it as 27. 64 minus here 3 into 9 is 27. So 4 into 9 is 36. This 1 by 3 will go as into 3 by 1. This is equal to this 3 and 27 will cancel. How many times? 9 times. And what is 64 minus 36? 14 minus 6 is 8. 5 minus 3 is 2. So, answer is 28 by 9. So, we got the sum of the zeros of the polynomial as 28 by 9. Now, let us find out the product of the zeros. What is the product? Let us just multiply the zeros. Alpha square into beta square by Al beta into alpha. Here alpha and alpha square will cancel. Here beta and beta square will cancel. We get it as alpha into beta. And our alpha into beta is 1 by 3. So we have got the product of the zeros as 1 by 3. And sum as 28 by 9. From this we can find out a new quadratic polynomial. That is from the form x square minus sum of x. Plus product of zeros is equal to 0. 
Just substitute the values. X square minus sum. What is the sum? 28 by 9. 28 by 9 into X plus product is 1 by 3 equal to 0. Then take the LCM. Here LCM is 9. We will get it as 9x square minus 28x plus 3 equal to 0. When this 9 is going other side, it will become 0. So our quadratic polynomial is, what is 9x square minus 28 plus, plus 3 equal to 0. This is our answer. Third question is, which of the following is not the graph of quadratic polynomial? We have to find out which of the following is not a graph of quadratic polynomial. The MCQ type question. So, in this, from this graph, we have to find out the zeros of the polynomial. As per quadratic polynomial, zeros of the polynomial in the middle of the rule. The maximum zeros of the polynomial for quadratic polynomial should be 2. Maximum zero, zeros of the polynomial is equal to 2 for the quadratic polynomial. Maximum 2 on zeros. So, from this graph, first graph will be zeros of the polynomial again and ready. If the line is crossing or touching the graph, it become 1, 0. Here, this line is not touching. Touching or crossing the coordinator. So, here zeros of the polynomial is equal to zeros is equal to 0. So, this is 0 is less than 2. So, this can be a graph of quadratic polynomial. Second one is here this line is touching one time. This line is touching one time. So, here zeros is equal to, zeros is equal to 1. So, 1 is also less than 2. So, this can be a graph of quadratic polynomial. And second graph, this is crossing two time. Line is crossing two time. So, here zeros is equal to, zeros of the polynomial is equal to 2. And third graph, this line is crossing the graph three times. Three times a coordinate cross is the one Other one is zeros at the Here zeros is equal to three. And three is greater than two. Therefore, e graph on a quadratic polynomial in the graph. So D is our option. Next is fourth question. The zeros of the quadratic polynomial ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 are equal. These options are not MCQ type question. So, first one is, first option is a, c and a have opposite sign, c and b have opposite sign, c and a have same sign, and d is c and b have same sign. So, zeros of the quadratic polynomial equal. So, let the Zeros be alpha. Alpha are equal to number zeros. What is the sum of the zeros of the polynomial? Alpha plus alpha is equal to minus b by a. That is 2 alpha is equal to minus b by a. That is alpha is equal to minus b by 2a. This is equation number 1. Then what is alpha into alpha? Alpha into alpha is equal to C by A. So alpha into alpha. Product of the zeros of the polynomial is equal to C by A. So alpha square is equal to C by A. What is alpha? Alpha number equation 1 pragaram. It is minus B by 2A the whole square is equal to C by A. This is equal to minus a positive of square of So, B by 2A, the whole square is equal to C by A. Here, always a square is positive. This square is positive either one to the net. Our RHS should be positive. RHS is positive and in the diagram, C and A should be same sign. That is, Positive one is C by A. Nvera. If both are negative, you can write plus minus C minus A. That is equal to C by A. So, our option C is the correct one. That is C and A have same sign. But a positive I C should be positive and A should be positive. Or 
both C and A should be negative. So our option C is the right one. So here we completed some of the expected questions from the chapter polynomial. In next video, we'll do some more questions from polynomials. We will do some more questions and confident that we will do some more problems. Try to do more and more problems from the previous year question paper. Then only you will become confident. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.